Hello, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing off all my farming Kairos dungeon teams. Before this video starts, some of the teams are not optimised rune-wise, so if you want to see some rune-wise that isn't perfect, but the teams still work, then I'll get into showing you. For the Giants team, this team will fail with the runes that I currently have on them, as the speed tuning is not ideal, as when the bird goes to give the Teshar another turn, the homunculus steps in. So there's a little bit of speed tuning wrong. However, I do have a video showing the team working properly. So this team might fail in this show just down to the fact of that. And this is my Teshar on pretty normal stuff. You don't have to use this team. There is more free to play with slightly slower teams. This team, I haven't had it down low. Like I say, I'm just using whatever team works. And this is the whole point of the video, just to say, you know, if you don't honestly care too much about that, then you'll be all right. So these are all the runes. I'm just going to go show them. They're not particularly anything special, but some newer players might have a problem with that. So I would put down in the description, if I remember, a free-to-play team of this, which would normally be of Veramos and like Wind Cat and stuff like that. Anyway, let's get into showing this team. Now what happens is she defense breaks. He goes. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure everyone's seen this team before. But as you see, Homunculus right there takes the turn when he's not meant to. But as long as the defense break gets put on, the team I don't think will ever fail. But as you can see, he's also a little bit too slow. So there is some problems with my team. I have got, like I say, a video on it, and there's other people that have done it and with lower room quality. It's just I honestly could not be bothered to change the team. So as you see, no defense break, and it could be wiped from that alone. So that's the only way really that the team would fail. But now this defense break, Homunculus should finish it off. But uh, yeah, we'll just see and hope pretty much. Also, there's going to be a little summon session at the end. I had more scrolls than I thought I did. As you can see, the whole team was like I say, this team isn't 100% perfect. So, nah, he didn't win. Right, well, that's, there's a fail run. So as you see, the team isn't 100% perfect. So what I'll do is I'll let the team run again. Just so you can actually see the team does work. Otherwise, uh, like I say, this is the reason why I might go back to my old slower team. Which I believe was Windcat, Veramos. I think it was Savannah with someone else. I can't honestly remember the team. I'll have to check the video. But honestly, Veramos and Veramos' brother did the job. But if you're struggling with this team and you've got a Lyca, if you can get Lyca to the boss on a decent vampire-ish set, then uh, you'll be alright. But as you can see, the boss is now low HP and Homunculus, well, what normally happens is there's a defense break and then he one-shots the boss. But normally the team does tend to die here and as you can see they're starting to die but there's no way the team will fail now so this is my team for this giants it's not a hundred percent safe only because i haven't ruined it up properly but you can see it gets about normal times i'll show off the records in a minute not going to keep that but yeah let's get into my giants team a uh, dragon's team whatever one it is see there's no cuts here now this team i'll show the four units which is verd veramos galleon and spectra now there's multiple ways that you can do this. There's other faster teams I have seen a 30 second time by free to play player. But I like this team personally because I can actually farm and level up a monster at the same time. So if I have a new monster that I want to do, I can actually level him up at the same time. So really you don't need a first slot with this team. But for newer players, Cowgirl or... Uh, Bella would probably work, but normally in this team I will be speed running it with my girl here. And these are her runes. They're not crazy or anything in particular. I just don't use the other one because she's way too fast for the team. But to make it more free to play so everyone has a chance, I shall put in my cowgirl. Or you could use Shaman. Shaman's actually pretty decent. You could also do um, Escher, but Escher there is uh, not the best choice. Also, I'm going to have to blur his speed. So, uh, whoops, me and editing. Sorry about that. Uh, whoops. Because he's actually currently in a, a trial defense of mine. But yeah, uh, where is the monsters I'm looking for? Actually, Crow's actually fairly good, but this Crow isn't ruined. Up. Oh. 
I will see if I've got my this this crow here. Yeah. Okay, now this crow is going to be too slow, and this team will probably have the uh, boss get immunity. But this is just to show off the team. It's not the fastest team in the world. It's probably about a minute-ish, give or take, on the runtime. But uh, yeah, I, I can't remember if I showed the crow's runes or not. So I'll do that if I remember in a minute. Like I say, this is one take. I normally don't talk because it's quite confusing to the brain. But yeah, hopefully these teams are helping some people out there. I mean, some people have probably seen it, but this is more for, like, beginner, mid-game. If you're in-game, you'd be going for the speed teams and stuff. So this is more for, like, beginner to mid. Apart from the Giants, obviously. But I will have down below in the description a uh, free-to-play team because I have to ruin that all up. And I don't think you guys want to see all that if I can't remember what the team is. But, like I say, Laika will solo that team. Well, boss, once he gets to the boss, as I've seen it before. And I've done it. Back when it first came out. But as you can see, this team really shouldn't fail. Especially if you've got a violent verd. Like, I don't have a verd for damage, really. It's just violent procs just to have a chance. And as you can see, the boss will be dead now. So, depending on your rune quality, if you can get the damage output, you could run this team. But if you can't run a damage output, see a minute team. I don't personally mind a minute. I better end it before I do another run by accident. That's a shame about that rune. But I'll just show the team without a crow. I will shove in... Uh, tell you, I don't know. Uh, let's just shove him in. As you can see, he was free to play as well. He's actually a really good option. I'll see if I can find the non-come-to-us -com version just to show that everybody who did the Witcher thing has it. As you can see, that's the same monster. I'll shove him in with no runes just to show that the team actually does do a good enough job with out it but he's also a really good monster hit because he does defense break he does attack bar absorption so he's a pr and he does a, a real good ton of damage so i would recommend running him but i'm like I said, i'm just showing you that he does well the team does work without him but it's just to give you a bit more idea that it does work so like I, said, I really do like this guy he's really strong he's really fun and i ended up using him not in about i think about two or three toa rotations ago i think it was two or it was when TOA Challenge or whatever came out, and I ended up using him on that TOA rotation, and he's really strong. He's essentially a Spectra, so if you can't get uh, him, if you, well, if you don't have him from the Come To Us uh, thingy of uh, crossover, what was it? it wasn't Street Fighter, it was uh, The Witcher, I think. Uh, if you don't have him, you can buy him from Ancient Coins, but he's not probably high on some people's list. But if you were lucky enough to get him, then that's pretty good. But as you can see, the team is just not likely to fail. The only thing is you, the Galleon is there for the defense break, but he's not like necessarily the best monster. There is other monsters that you could use for the defense break. It's just I would consider him free to play as you can honestly... You know, if you don't have a galley and then you probably only just started, then you'll probably want to go with, like, a Bella or something. It's just so he can speed up the teams and stuff. So, like I say, with no runes, with one monster, you know, that's the type of rune times you're going to get. Anyway, let's go into my Necro team. I have actually got a faster team than this, but this team just works for me. Now, as you can see, my Shaman has no runes. And I normally just give him either this Lucian set or this Lucian set. So I'm just going to give my Shaman this one with 100 crit rate. Just down to the fact it the team will just work. I actually had considered making another one because he's actually good against MSTs and stuff like that. So here are my twins runes. The twins are on terrible leftover runes. We're talking really bad. I don't even remember if these are the correct twins. I think they're just the twins on Violet. Oh, yeah, and I forgot to give her a rune. So let's just give her this. I'm just going to give her uh, his runes because I was messing around. This is what I normally do when I want to farm Necro. So as we'll go back on to her, as I can't remember if I showed her runes or not. But... You don't need will with this particular team. If you want to do the speed teams, then you will want to do that. Now, this twin here, I'm going to have to also censor her speed. So, oops, I've got to do two censoring as she's in a, a defense. But you can go for a rage, uh, Shayna, as that's probably better on crit. Because she's only mainly there just to do, like, one shot the wave. And as she's faster, it's just to make sure that I guarantee it. So, yeah, oopsie. I, uh, I should have checked what I had, but I say one take, I'm not doing any more. So, this team isn't as fast as with the like solution where he kills himself at the end with the, uh, I think it's Abigail, the water cannon girl. So, 
she is the faster team, but this team is safe, and it's only ever f even without runes on my shaman and without that crit rate rune, which I've forgotten to do sometimes. The team will still work. So basically, just shove in twins. I mean, you could probably get away with uh, the doggos as well, which would probably be kind of fun to see. So I might consider that. But like I say, this team was just shoving it and it praying hope. So, but you could also get away with a Colleen instead of a Fran. If you really wanted to. And some people would optimise that as opposed to her. But you know it's, it is what it is. But I do think having Shayna on Will is probably a good idea. Just so that way she doesn't get defence broke at the start. So I would say that that's actually a good thing. So you'd probably want her on maybe triple, uh, double revenge or violent. Because when the boss attacks. Like I say everything being on probably Will revenge would probably be decent. If you wanted to speed it up or give a bit of chance. And I just bashed my keyboard, so whoops. So, this is, like I say, the team. And hopefully it does the job. Well, it should do. I mean, I've used this team many a times. Like I say, it's not the fastest team in the world, but these aren't going to be speed teams. These are early to mid-game doable teams. Maybe depending on the rune quality will be also depending on the time. But I think he's going to soul do, yeah. Sometimes he doesn't. Like I say, the teams are not optimised at all. It's just... If you wanted to farm, shove anything in, it does the job. So, like I say, there's so much healing. You could probably get away with shoving in um, Melissa, the wind twin. But the only downside is to that is you wouldn't have a guaranteed healer. And if Shaman decides to not heal, or you don't do enough uh, breaching on his passive, then Shaman will never get the heal off. So maybe uh, a set of accuracy runes on Throne would be good. Like I say, everything on tr like revenge set with Violent, apart from Shane, would probably be good, maybe. But, like I say, this is just on violence, will, let's just shove anything on whatever, it doesn't matter. So that was a two minute run. As you see, the teams do work. Ugh. Look, I'm going to just power this up just for fun. It's going to go terrible, thankfully. But, oh, I would have been really sad that was a quad roll into speed. Right, uh, we are on spiritual uh, realm place. Now, here, I'm going to have to re ruin again, just bear that in mind. The runes also on here are not perfect, so I'm going to have to show the run a couple of times. But if you build the team properly, like it should be on, you'll be definitely good to go. Now, my Oak would probably benefit from being on a Violent set. It's just that this is my Raid build, so that's what he's on. Now, this guy is actually pretty kind of fun. As long as you kill everything before he gets a turn, you'll definitely be right. Now here with this team, oh I don't want to do that. Now with this team, I'm gonna go with an attack with crit rate. I'm just gonna shove my Lucian rune on there, and that gives me enough. And my Astar is gonna need uh, that. These are like this quick shove on runes, so you don't really need this type of stats. It's just I happen to be going for it just to show anything really goes. So as you can see, these are the, the runes on my star. I do have a vampire one, but that was back in the day for Necro. And I don't think people really need that for Necro anymore. But if she did the right skill, she would have been alright. But it doesn't really matter too much. Like I said, the only hard part for this, I would say... Is the boss if uh, things don't kill and that can only fail really if you haven't got enough crit rate where everything crits and kills so you need to have high crit rate for this one and actually a load of damage and you don't have to be too fast but like I say this is just my team I just shove things on so you can attack the middle boss a lot of damage didn't get necessarily the correct team up but having him on violent really helps and just means I can guarantee it being finished. So he doesn't need to do too much damage, but the team actually does do quite a lot of damage. Now, as you can see, I have had a 20 to 8 second, but it's not the end of I Since that team was so quick, I'll show it a couple of times because it actually was a quick team. And, you know, you might be able to see some fails or proper runs and other types of things. Like I say, a start there would be ideal to do skill 1 just to do AoEs. But it doesn't really matter too much. And as long as the Hellhound doesn't uh, get another turn like before his thing, he'll be alright. As you can see, there wasn't that. Now, he's going to probably do his crit rate buff now. There we go. So, now I need a team up, which he's not going to happen. So, now I'm not going to have the crit rate for the boss. Now, this is when things can go wrong. Down to the fact of, you know, you, know, you can have one multi-hitter and that. So, now the crit rate is on, but now the boss is going to get a turn. So, this is the other outcome that can happen. Like, the team can wipe from this, but normally it doesn't. 
but it can fail from time to time if you don't have a good enough room. Now, as you see, lost the defense break and a star went. So there is optimizing issues with, like I say, the runes and stuff. So this is maybe something you want to mess around with, like different team speed and stuff. But as you see, the team's still good enough to do it. So I'll show it up one more time because I think that was one minute here. Yeah. Then after this, I'll show the other place. And then after that, I'll do a little bit of summer sessions. I think I've got one LD and about 40 mystics when I check. As you can see, crit rate, skill 2, should do skill 1, but it doesn't really matter. But as you can see, he's going to have his crit rate buff again, defense break, do some damage, team up and that, and kill. So hopefully this one will be a quick run. It's nice, skill 1, Roke does that, does that. Like I say, if a star had better runes, she could just one-shot like through the side bits, which is the idea, but it didn't happen. So there wasn't enough there either for speed so that's why his violent proc didn't come in handy but just so you can see the idea of the team so yes you can take as many turns as you want the team's not going to really die but it might it can still die <laughs> there's no guarantee that it's not now so see a monster did die normally a star should be able to carry it but sh this team would be all right still broke is on a decent enough set as long as uh, he actually gets to have a turn Never mind, he didn't do what he was meant to do. Like I say, this team could fail, but I just don't think it will. I mean, it might. Oh, wait, actually, it, it yeah, it, it's going to fail. So it's just so you can see that it does fail from time to time. Only because I didn't optimise the runes and stuff just by shoving things on. Because I got max crit rate. I think you're meant to have max crit rate anyway, but... There we go. So you can see the team will fail from time to time as well. Like I say, for me, I personally don't mind the fail from time to time. It's just that that was a really bad run, that was. So anyway, let's go here. Now, my Ken is actually on a random build, and I actually haven't got an artifact on him. That's actually really bad, because he's actually in my raid team. Unless I've nicked this from somewhere, I've actually got to put that back on, because like I say, he is in my solo R5 team. He's actually really worth getting and making. He, I am making just to work properly. And it's going to be a little while before I get him max skilled, but I am trying. These are all monsters on leftover runes. Like I say, you won't get any particular speedy times with this. Brandier could be replaced by Crow. I only have Brandier here just down to the fact that elemental advantage. Now this team, don't bear in mind, will and can fail. So everything's on two sets of will, just down to the fact, you know, so yeah, they actually don't get their stuff done, not meant to have done. I, I don't know what I'm talking about, to be honest, we're talking about the rubbish. So in theory that would have killed, but didn't. So and now we're on the boss. Hopefully someone can land a defense break. There we go. Now hopefully she can one-shot him. Nope, just not enough damage. So as you see, like I say, leftover runes are kind of a problem, but like I say, it depends what you want to farm. Like I say, this is just to show off that easy ability of, you know, to shove things on. At least that's what I do, since I'm actually going back to farming for swift sets and uh, despair sets as violent runes have decided not to like me today. Didn't land a thing that was needed, so this could be a failed run. The only downside to this team, as everyone knows, so this uh, boss is like it's... Fuck, I didn't land the thing I was meant to land, and now I'm in trouble. And now I'm going to get demonetized if I... <laughs> for saying the word fuck. Anyway. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, this team will definitely win now, anyway. Especially with Cowgirl being here still. The team can go wrong from time to time as well. But like I said, this is just leftover runes, just so I don't have to re-ruin stuff. I do also have a video on... Like I say, I've got videos on all of these things, so if I don't put it down in the description, which I probably will forget to do knowing me, it'll be there and you can find the videos to free-to-play versions. Like I said, this team's pretty free-to-play apart from Dark Copper, but with how many events we've had and that, I think it's not likely to not happen. But yeah, um, let's just end the run so we can do that. Now, will he land? He didn't land a defense break, but she landed a load of dots. Like I say, it seems to be a bit hit on this. With what decides to land and what doesn't. Like I say, that's probably my fault with the runes, but I did say that, so. And so hopefully you guys aren't getting a bit too bored with this. I, I honestly just don't know what to say when I do these type of videos. 
So hopefully it's, it's you know it's like it's just like a normal person playing a game, not like one of these people that are like high end, you know, all this crazy nonsense that knows everything about the game, you know. I'm just showing off random teams that work and it does the job. But anyway, has anyone tried TOA Hell? Out of curiosity, because I definitely got stuck on stage three, five, and I think nine for a little while. I think three and five I got stuck on for about two hours each. So yeah, that wasn't fun. So like I say, a big thanks in that video on number five for a friend of mine. If you want to go join his dis Discord or go check his streams, that he's actually a good player. So he's uh, way way better than me. So all right, anyway. Uh, we just did this one, so now we're going to here. Now this team will also do a really good, nice job. It has failed from time to time as well. Except all my teams, pretty, every team is never going to be 100% perfect. Down to the fact you can miss crits or you know keep missing defense break or something like that. But this team is pretty reliable, I would say. Just shoveling any ruins and stuff like that. And it's actually a free to play version, I would class this as. As you can also buy uh, a Dark Vampire Lord at uh, the coin shop as well. Now, he's got leftover ruins. So bear that in mind. Now, with this team, it has to be a bit slower. There are faster teams that people have done, but I don't have a Demora, so I have to go with slower teams. And, you know, because this is just so other people can see, like, mid-game or early game of what they might want to try and do as a slightly faster team. Because my account's technically end-game, so the rune quality might be a bit harder for some to pull off. But it just shows even with random runes, or not the correct runes, the teams can fail, yes. But to me personally, it's not enough to bother me. But I know Giants did fail quite a bit. As you see, it goes for left tower, then right tower, then middle now normally I don't tend to die at that stage. Oh no, it, goes, it doesn't do that. Uh, I guess I guess it just goes left tower then middle. Well, I was wrong there as well. I don't really tend to farm artifacts. As many people know to tell me to farm artifacts. Farm artifacts, farm violent runes. <laughs> I'm gonna go swift. I want the fastest swift. So hopefully this team will definitely. I think this team will do it. It'd be nice if he gave um, immunity as well. That make it really strong. But I don't think they'd ever give him that because he's, I don't know, he's kind of underrated but also good at the same time. Right, I'll show the team one more time just to show it off, just to see if I can get any faster runs. About a minute. So if you don't mind about a minute time, like I, say, I know a lot of people want speed teams and stuff like that. But you're going to have to ruin it up and stuff like I say. These teams work with leftover runes pretty much. Apart from the uh, dragons, uh, the giants team, where that was an actual design team to go fast, but my runes are just to show that it, you know, it can fail only when there's no defense break and not low enough health and stuff like that. Only because it, it, it's just the way it is. But I do have a slower team that does work fine. But I know there's other videos out there that have people using really fast teams that are still, you know, mediocre runes and stuff like that. But to be honest with you, I'm just too lazy. I don't really care for those type of speed teams anymore. I just want something that's... I have it a bit slower and more consistent is what I want. Because I did try to do the Dark uh, Hall of Heroes. I can't remember what her name is. But I did try with her, but the team just wasn't working for me. So I went back to that team. But I do know a Veramos, Wind Cat... I just want to say, I mean, like I said, Galleon would probably work. And uh, Veramos' brother and somebody else. I can't remember who it was. Somebody else that does damage. That water guy might be decent as well. I think Wind Homunculus would actually be good in that team still, regardless. So, like I say, it's just mixing and matching to find it. I think Bella could be quite decent as well if you don't use uh, Wind Ifrit. Like I said, there's lots of teams, but depending on what it is, you could even use Sigamaris as well. Yeah, that's the team done. I forgot to hit the end the match button. But yeah, like I said, these are my teams. I'll be showing off a quick thing. Sometimes this team, like I said, does die, but it's really rare. So hopefully for you, it does the job. Hopefully, that, you know, I don't, I don't know. Hopefully the waffling on didn't bother you or whatever. Now, as you can see... The rune teams that I did use. I did use the top team of Giants. 
with her and the dark girl for the speed team as you can see these are all the teams that I've used just to get this fast time so if you wanted to get a fast time these are the teams you could look out for and like I say a lot of these places I haven't bothered to farm in a long time now here are the rune my very team I don't farm with this team it was just a trial I don't have the runes to pull it off consistently so I kind of gave up I haven't tried half the places yet half the stuff and here the runes area for this anyway let's get into summon now what I've ended up got is one L a uh, two LDs okay uh, one of each elemental and the mystics do I have anything here that I want you know since these are new let's just get these unless there's something else oh I would like him I'm gonna guess I, I, it's only one summon so you never know what you're gonna get oh yes let's buy packs I wish there was a way to turn those off but yeah, like I said, I've got a blessing, so hopefully we'll get something good. And yeah, hopefully the video has gone on well. Hopefully you people have enjoyed it. As obviously it's getting towards the end of the video now. I've, I've got to edit it yet, because now I've got to edit it. So I'm not expecting anything good. It'd be really nice if I could get something nice, but I'm not expecting it. Ooh, that's quite a lot of lightning, to be honest with you. Damn, I wish, I wish that was the light one. I would take another light one. <laughs> It'd be cool if they gave us like a little rate up for Mystics. Like if it was like a one in like a, a thousand or like a one in like 50,000 scrolls that you could get a chance to get an LD from Mystics. I think that'd be really cool. If that chance would be so low, it would almost not be worth it. But some, you know, people go crazy on it. I mean, I'm hoping I can get a lightning from the LDs. I mean, that'd be pretty cool. Because if, that, if that's the case, then this would go into a separate video by itself, I think. At the end of this video, obviously, but also in a separate video. Just a summon video, I think. Nothing from them. I'm not particularly after too much. I'm more after, like... Well, I don't know who I'm after, really. I guess <laughs> maybe a dupe Leo, dupe Tiana. Well, let's do pieces, I guess. No, lightning. Well, I guess I could build a second one of him now. Oh, lightning! Oh, wow. Um. Um. I. I don't know if he's good, I guess. Uh, go in the comments down below, I guess, and let me know if he's any good, because. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, he's not going to be there because I've got my thing full. But yeah, um, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully the team's helped. I don't know what he does or whatever. He might be good. He might not be. He wasn't anything that I wanted, though. I'm a bit uh, sad about that as what I have in my rate up is I really wanted her. She's the one monster I pretty much want. I would love him, but it's not going to happen. I would love her as well, and I would love her. So, they're the ones that I wanted, didn't get it, but I'm not going to say no to a lightning, especially when it's new, not all of Hero, so, uh, I will, I'm not going to put that in the video by itself, I'll just put it in this one, and yeah, um, hopefully the team's helped you and all that, and I'll catch you people in the next one, oh my god, 30 minutes, I've done a Jew bagel.